ODU student is suffering from hearing loss and did not have the means to pay for assistance. And that's when a local foundation stepped up to help the student in need. Photojournalist Dax Gray brings us this story. Meets rising ODU senior Louisa Apuko. Brought to America from Ghana by her mother five years ago. She graduated from T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria, now a proud monarch. I'm the first person in my family to be in college in the United States, so it was such a big deal. Louisa recently found out she's losing her hearing. When I, I heard that I had a hearing loss, I felt like um, everything around me is just going to change. The detrimental news put her education in question. I mean, what am I going to school? What am I going to school for? Because at the end of the day, I don't. I'm losing my hearing. I'm turning deaf. So, deaf. So, like, what am I going to do? It's very hard for a lot of people who are not aware that they have a hearing loss to really come to terms with it, especially a younger person. People are gonna point fingers at me, and uh, I wouldn't be able to understand. When I go to school, um, it's going to be hard for me when I go to school. So That's when Miracle Ear Foundation stepped in to help. Since the Miracle Ear Foundation started in 1990, more than 16,000 hearing aids have been donated to more than 9,100 recipients through the U.S. With that help, Louisa hears clearly for the first time in her life. Um, I'm sorry. I heard everything that she was saying clearly and loud. And it makes me feel excited that all these years I never realized that these are the sounds that I was missing. It, it really is a genuine experience and that's what's so great because people don't recognize how much this can impact people's life. In Chesapeake, Dax Gray, News 3. Wow, you know, it's something a lot of us take for granted. Very true. And awesome how Miracle Ear stepped in like that. Absolutely, and to see her big smile and those tears of joy, yeah. that's huge.